Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. May the Lord bless the reading, hearing, and doing of the word. You may be seated in the sanctuary. Our theme this morning, our theme for this morning's message is make sure you're at the right door. Amen. We are here this morning. We are here this morning because we are at the right door. We are here this morning. Listen, we are here this morning despite what's going on because we are at the right door. And we know that no matter what's going on, that God is in control. And so our theme is make sure you're at the right door. You, you ever went to somewhere, someone's house, you ever went to an address, knocked on the door only to realize you were standing at the wrong address? Yeah. You did that? Yeah. If you've taken the time, you got up, you got ready, got going, you're making your way to your destination, you knock on the door only to realize you're knocking on the wrong door. Anybody ever did that? Yeah. You are standing you realize in the wrong place. But the good news is, at least you realize it was the wrong door. Good news is you now know your way to the right address, you know your way to the right door. Bad enough being at the wrong door, but it's much worse not realizing when you're at the wrong door. When you're at the right door, you can give God directions, you can give good directions to others to get them to the right door. Amen. First off, what you realize is you cannot get to the right door, you cannot get others to the right door by picking door number one, door number two, or door number three, like let's make a deal. If you have to pick either door number one, number two, or number three, you are definitely standing at the wrong door. How many know that you cannot guess the right door? How many know you have to know the right door? I, I, I you, I you this morning. That's why we're here this morning is because we know we're at the right door. Jesus says in John chapter 10, verse 9, I am the door. By, in, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. So you don't have to guess the right door. Jesus tells us that he is the right door. Watch this. Jesus is not a door. Jesus is not one of many doors. I know Jesus is the door. Watch this. Jesus Jesus is the only door. Imagine, if you will, someone showing up at the door to heaven, knocks on the door. The father answers the door himself, and this someone says, Father, may I please come in? And the father closes the door and locks it. To most people, this would seem harsh. To most people, this would seem even rude. Someone shows up at the door of heaven, and the father answers the door, and that person asks the father, can I come in? And then the father shuts the door and locks it. The father locks them out. Come on. Keep in mind now, 1 John 4 and 8 says, God is love. Yeah. Keep in mind, Psalms 105 says, for the Lord is good. And then it goes on to say, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. And yet, imagine someone knocking on the door to heaven and ask a loving, holy, merciful, good God if they could enter heaven's door and the Father shuts the door and locks it. That would not seem, that would seem like a, a, a bad response. That wouldn't seem like a response of a loving, holy, merciful, good God. And yet, it was a loving, holy, merciful, good God that shut the door and locked it. Yeah. He locked it because he already declared yes. how we are to approach a loving, holy, merciful, good God. Right. He showed us how we are to approach, to gain entrance into his kingdom. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 5, God speaking out of heaven says, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Yeah. Hear him. 
Then Jesus, the Son, he says in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me. And so we see here the Father endorses the Son, and then the Son declares the Father, and God the Father set the order how we are to approach a holy God. He set the order how we are to gain access into everlasting life. And the only way that we can gain access into everlasting life, it must be through the Son. Someone ought to say amen. Yet someone shows up at heaven's door without the Son, it's enough. That's not enough. Not enough just to show up looking for God. Not enough just to show up claiming you know God. Many people claim they know God. Many people claim they 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 looking for God, but are not approaching God the way He ordained. Jesus says in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus says also in John 6, verse 40, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which sees the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life. And so Jesus not only is the door, but believing on him only is the key to opening. How many know that's the key to opening the door? And so, and so if you knock on the door to heaven, you are standing there by yourself. Come on, please won't get in. All right. Won't get in because Jesus is not standing with you. And if Jesus is not standing with you, you are standing at the wrong door. But how many know this morning, I said, how many know this morning, I've been singing about it, how many know this morning that you're standing at the right door? They were 
message. Yeah. They rejected the messenger. But the verse says, then said Jesus unto them again. Mm -hmm. I know God was God in a second chance. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, he doubles down. He repeats what he said in John chapter 10, verse 1 and 2. Jesus says, he says, he is the shelter for the sheep. He is the door for the shelter. He is the shepherd of the sheep. Jesus says, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Come on, amen. And if you don't believe this, you are standing at the wrong door. All right. If you don't believe this and you don't accept this, you are standing in the wrong place. You might come in these doors right here, but if you don't believe, believe that Jesus is the door and the shepherd of the sheep, you are in the wrong place. He's the key. And the key is not just to pick a door, but pick the door. If you know you pick the door, give God a hand of praise this morning. the door of the sheep. Come on. And why is this so important? Why is this so important to understand? Well, because we also understand Jesus is not just the door of the sheep. Come on. He's not just the door of our salvation, but he's also the great I am. Jesus says in John 8, 58, verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Now, we can't read that text without reading Exodus chapter 3. As, as Moses is standing in the desert, as Moses is standing at the burning bush, Exodus chapter 3, verse 2 says, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush, and he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Yeah. Going down to Exodus 3, 13 and 14, it says, And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Yeah. And God said unto Moses, I am. And y'all are just too quiet. Just to listen. God set you up just now. He said, I am that I am. He said, tell them that I am that I am has sent you unto me. Don't you know that I am that I am has you sitting here this morning? Don't you know that I am that I, that I am is the right door to stand? Church door 
and have not received Jesus. Right. And I don't believe that's the case this morning. Because as I look around us, and I see, look like everybody here are lovers of Christ. Yeah. I'm looking through the congregation, and I see people who I recognize as lovers of Christ. Yeah. And for whatever the reason, for whatever the reason, he assembled this crowd together. We don't have no live stream. We don't have no recording. But for whatever the reason, he assembled this crowd together to remind us that we went to the right door. He reminds us that we are standing at the right door. That we are in the shelter of God. We are in the protection of God. You are the best in man. Thank you. 